the gait reflexes are acupressure points in the feet. And I can circuit locate them. Let's get back to a strong muscle here. Do you have any issues like when you're doing long walks or running? Um, recently I've been feeling tired. Tired, I okay. I don't get tired like that. Okay, this is often a cause of fatigue, particularly if you're on your feet. In fact, when I did the New York Marathon, now this is amazing in itself. Before I did kinesiology, I had so many issues, I couldn't take gym classes. For two years, I had a doctor's excuse saying, John, don't even, don't even, if I walked uh, a, more than a mile, I'd have severe knee pain. So they just wrote off, okay, you can't work out anymore, just forget all about sports. Well then, I started learning kinesiology and getting worked on, and I said, gee, I think I can do like a 5K. And I did a 5K, and they go, well, this is working. So I ended up training for the New York Marathon. I got chosen in the lottery. I was going to do it with Tony Robbins. We were down in Fiji and he said, yeah, I'm going to do it too. And then he backed out. But we ended up, um, I did the marathon and I did the whole thing. But one of the keys in the marathon was before I raced, I rubbed these points. I'll demonstrate them on her. And then at mile 20, I was getting tired. I stopped, took my shoes off and rubbed them again. I passed 500 people on that last uh, leg of the marathon. So let's see. So what I have here is I can touch these points. It's called circuit locating. I'll show it from this angle. So I'm touching here and see what happens. Hold as I push, bingo. Okay, arm strong, touch the acupressure points. This is called therapy localization or circuit localization when you touch and test. And it tells you where there's a problem area. So now let's show you what that's like. I'm gonna push on your leg and arm at the same time and see what happens. Okay, both together. Hold, leg goes down. Now just relax that. If I push on the leg, it says, oh, I'm fine, but you got, you want me to work with the opposite arm like a gait pattern? It can't hold up. So when we're walking, opposite arm and leg go forward and back. Now um, let's just do a couple others. Let's have you hold, um, I'm gonna push the fascial auto, we strengthen that. I'm gonna push the arm in. Now I'm gonna do them together and hold. Bingo. <laughs> so that's kind of a further test, and we show you all of them in the structural course. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rub these points, just getting in the, and you can work on your feet as well. They're going right at the distal part of the metatarsals, just before the toes. And I'm rubbing in there. In fact, let me just do one foot at a time. I'll show you from the upper camera. So I'm getting right in here. Are these tender at all? Yes. Yeah? Okay, let me know if I'm going too deep and then we'll wind it up here. Okay. And now another thing I do is I pull it apart. What causes this is often wearing too tight of shoes. Um, when you're, especially women's shoes are so, you know, like a high heel and it jams your foot into a tight little shoe. It creates energy blockage. Remember, it's all about unblocking energy. We show you how to find it, how to unblock it, and results come amazingly from there. Okay, so now let's do the other foot, and I'm going here, and here. There's ones on the outside. So let's see how we do. Now you can work these on yourself. And by the way, I wanted to put one of these little, if I can find one here, an acupellet on that elbow that you needed. These are little stickers, and then we'll retest the foot. So I'm putting this on large and test and 11. You learn these points in the, even the fundamentals course. So when I put that there, it keeps stimulating it. Now let's have you hold this leg and opposite arm up. Hold, great, I'm gonna push them in, hold. Let's do this one. Hold, and <clears throat> pushing in, hold. And now I'll touch here. And that's strong, that's strong. Okay, well get up and walk around a little bit and let me know how you feel. That's often the case where they say, oh, can you feel more energy as you're walking? Just kind of run up and down there. It's, it's not like it's going up, it's like, it's like around here, it's like yeah. this. But do you feel more like flow, like when you're walking, does it feel better? Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, that's how I could describe it. I yeah. Don't, I didn't know how to describe it. Yeah, it's like, oh. Yeah, it gives you a lift when you're walking. Yeah. So if you're going out before you go out, say for a run, because you do run, right? And do yeah. Do that before you go out running and see how it how it is for you. Or anytime you're tired when you're on your feet, 
just sit down and work those points, okay? Like 30 seconds each point. Yeah, I think it's for my running shoes. Like, I think they, like, squish my feet. Oh, do you have them here? No. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Oh, good. Well, then we'll test you later before, you know, you leave today. Because often that's what I do is I have the person, I balance their gates and I say, great, put your shoes back on and walk around a bit, which is another great thing to do when you go to a shoe store. What I do is I put shoes on and then I walk around and, you know, get kind of see how my body feels them. And then I'll have the a person that, you know, you test on my arm after, you know, I uh, work and then, oh, those shoes are, I, I can't wear those. They go, really? Oh, okay teaching them how they can do it with their, their uh, prospective buyers. But you can also uh, test yourself, you know, either the sway test. Now the sway test, let's do that together. You can face me. And if you think a happy thought, if you want to stand up and do this, think a happy thought and see if you, and put your feet a little further shoulder width apart. Think a happy thought and see if you feel, if you'll lean forward. See if that happens for you. Think a really happy thought and you're leaning forward, right? <laughs> and now think of a frustrating thought, like something that might've occurred this morning. <laughs> she was telling me about- I was gonna like fall down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a, yeah. And so let's end with the happy thought though. Think of, oh God, I love when that happens and, and you know, wanna end on a positive note, okay? Mm -hmm. And for you too, do that and see, what, yeah, there you go. So that's good to remember and we'll, we'll kind of wind it up with that note. Okay, thanks, and we'll get to your shoes later so that we can find out if that's the issue. But there's so many great things with kinesiology, and I'm so thrilled that you